Have you ever wondered why places, towns, churches get named the way they do? Well, before 1920, we were called Bueller Hufnungsau Mennonite Church. Now, what in the world is a Hufnungsau? Well, we know that our mother church was named Hufnungsau Mennonite Church. That makes sense that we would be called Bueller Hufnungsau Church. But it doesn't tell us what is a Hufnungsau. Well, there's a story behind the name. It's not just a random choice of words. And according to Elder A.J. Dick, who ministered at Bueller Mennonite Church, the tongue twister term originated as follows. Quote, on the day that a number of the group of Mennonite emigres from Russia were out looking over the land to determine where they would settle, they had gone from Hutchinson, Kansas to their final destination to look for suitable location for settlement. They came to a high ridge north of present-day Bueller, Kansas, and could overlook the wide stretch of prairie to the east and north. They seemed well pleased with the place. Johann Dick, who was later to become deacon in the congregation, made the remark in German, Dies ist ja hier eine wahrhaftige Hoffnungsau, or roughly translated from German, this is truly a hopeful meadow or view. Dietrich Gedert had heard this statement and said this should be the name of the church that was to be organized, and thus it was so decided. End of quote. The congregation has kept the name ever since, and from time to time the church has seriously discussed using an English translation. In 1945, the Hutchinson News Herald reported that, quote, the name Hufnungsau clung to the old church until a few years ago when the name was changed to Hopeview Church, a liberal translation of the old name from German to English. But there are many that still call it by the old name, which they like best. End of quote. Now whether this change was official is historically uncertain, Elder Albert Gaddert in Hufnungsau Mennonite Church's centennial book, 1874 to 1974, had the following to say about translating Hufnungsau into English. Quote, It is difficult to put the full meaning into one word. The German Au means meadow, and at the same time, when used together with the German Hufnungs, it takes on also the meaning of a field of promise. Hope view has been proposed, but this limits the richness of the expression greatly. End of quote. Hoffnungsau has a rich meaning, but it isn't one-dimensional. Although the open prairie east and to the north of Bueller Ridge was a hopeful meadow compared to the sand hills of, around Hutchinson in terms of geography, it also represented a higher hope. Bueller Hufnungsau Mennonite Church wasn't named after any old hope. The hope of Hufnungsau and now the hope of Bueller Mennonite Church 100 years later is in fact that we worship a faithful God who from generation to generation offers us forgiveness and redemption. In the name of Jesus Christ we worship, we fellowship, and we serve with the hope, the Hufnungs, that God will continue to be faithful. Now that's a Hufnungs Au. That is truly a view of hope for a daughter church who is now celebrating 100 years of ministry. God help us as we enter the second century of faithfully following Christ. And as we think about our namesake, Hufnungs Au, and the fact that our mother church had named us Bueller Hufnungsau Mennonite Church until we became an independent church. I wonder what view of hope have we offered and do we continue to offer to the people around us? What is the hope? What is the Hufnungs of Bueller Mennonite Church? And then finally, does a name make a difference? What does it mean that we are now called to be a view of hope specifically for Bueller, Kansas? 
How might that make a difference for us as we begin our second 100 years of faithfully following Christ?